Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous night out here in paradise. I'm waiting for the moonrise here over the Point Lonesome Swamp. Here it is Sunday night, November 21st, 2021. I cannot believe it is my seventh night here at uh, in the Oasis of Freedom. Uh, sitting here with my damn sciatica in my leg and my herniated shoulder and my aches and pains of an old man slowly becoming more decrepit sitting around waiting to die in the Point Lonesome Swamp and uh, dealing with fucking internet issues and cell phone issues and, and all of this brain eating crap and little aches and pains that make life you know just just keep us in the 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 majority of us you know in the basically miserable camp and I've I've had versions of this rant before my my favorite Woody Allen line of all times, you know, talking about uh, there's basically two kinds of people, the, the basically miserable and the truly horrible camps of people. And if you can just stay in the basically miserable camp with your little aches and pains and your little drama, little teeny weeny personal dramas and all that shit, if you can just stay basically miserable like I am and avoid the truly horrible camp then you're actually doing all right uh, since humans are basically miserable the, the vast majority of us are basically miserable people that that's what we are we we just live in basic misery just uh, sitting around waiting to die uh, wondering why the fuck we were ever born and just doing what we can to stay out of the camp of the truly miserable and uh, anyway on my way down here <coughs> when <coughs> damn it then of course I have a piece of popcorn stuck on my back of my throat talk, talk about being basically miserable <clears throat> you know it's like getting little pieces of popcorn stuck in your throat and not having any margarita left to wash it down with uh, so anyway on my way down here from New York I received this email from this young doomer chick and uh, I'm not going to call her Lulu because y y you know the 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 former resident Lulu here in the Point Lonesome Swamp has kind of uh, ruined that name for any, any other of us. So we're going to call her, uh, I don't know, what shall we call you, darling? Dulcinea is taken and uh, Lulu is uh, kind of taken. I don't know. We'll we'll call her Betty Boop. So anyway, I I don't know Betty Boop. Uh, I think this is the third email that I have ever received from this young woman. I don't think she would mind me telling you folks. She's 23 years old. She is a 23 year old Doomer chick who understands how fucked we are. And uh, she has figured it out at age 23 and re responded the only appropriate way, which is to get herself sterilized. You know, like I got myself sterilized at age 22, so I don't know, I have no idea how uh, this young woman found a doctor to sterilize her. But good for the doctor, uh, good, good, good for. Betty Boop and good for the doctor to uh, so anyway 
she gets herself sterilized a few months ago, uh, realizing that this is no planet to bring a child on into. And then what happened? And, and I'm not going to go into the gory details. I'm just saying that this healthy, vibrant, intelligent young woman, she just... I, I, I don't even, I, I, I don't even know the words for it. Just, just like out of nowhere, completely out of fucking left field, she was gobsmacked from the basically miserable into the camp of the truly horrible. Just, I, I, I mean, I honestly don't know if it was a matter of hours, but, you know, in the, in, you know, in the, quote, blink of an eye, this, this uh, healthy, educated, together uh, young woman, uh, doomer chick, uh, you know, trying to figure out how to navigate her life through the 21st century, out of fucking nowhere, she got slammed out of the camp of the basically miserable, I mean, truly into the, the camp of the truly horrible. Uh, and it, and it, it had nothing to do with her lifestyle. It, uh, it has nothing to do with goddamn corona panic. Uh, anyway, I guess it was some latent genetic thing that showed up in her blood and in in any way she's fucked she's completely fucked I I, I I I mean she went from the the level of fucked that any 23 year old uh, on planet earth in the year 2021 is okay she already had that level of fucked and now she is gone from the basic generic, 23-year-old uh, fucky to, you know, in the camp of the truly horrible. And so, as they say, I've never, I've, I've never spoken to this woman. She's somehow, I have no idea how this young woman ever found uh, Humpty Dumpty tribe or the Doomosphere or anything else, but somehow she uh, washed up in the tribe and uh, and she sends me this email. You know, just detailing what just has shown up in her life out of nowhere. I honestly don't know if you know if she's if she's asking for advice. I, I don't think so. I, I think she just is uh, going crazy in the damn hospital, is, is my guess, and just needed someone to reach out to. So she uh, reached out to uh, Hambone Littletail on his way to the Point Lonesome Swamp and just read me the, this laundry list of... Of, 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 of how completely fucked she is. And at age 23, dealing with everything else that 23-year-olds are dealing with with, 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 with this level of tragedy. I, I mean, when you hear some shit like this, you know, with, with somebody my age, I, I, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's sad enough, but when... When shit like this happens, you know, to vibrant young 23-year-olds with their whole life before them and, uh, and, and, and whatnot, I, I mean, it just, you know, it just, it just settles into a, a really ugly place. And then you get, so you, 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 uh, you know, you, you hear stories 
like this and you know I, I've actually heard people I, I've mentioned this before where you know whenever uh, whenever a depressed person a like like a quote physically healthy depressed person is, is bitching and whining about how depressed they are and and, and want to pull a Lulu and stick a gun in their mouth and blow their fucking brains out because they can't handle you know the the deck they the hand that they've been dealt uh, and 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 the these clueless fucking morons come on there and 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 act like that you have no reason that you are not allowed to be depressed when there's people more miserable than you that 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 you're supposed is supposed to cheer you up the fact that you that there's people on this planet a hell of a lot more miserable than you with your little sciatica and your herniated shoulder and, and your fucking uh, internet and uh, and smartphone problems that it, you're supposed to feel grateful you're 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 supposed to show gratitude to the universe that there's people in the camp of the truly fucked, you know, the, the truly horrible, when you're only basically miserable. Don't, don't you love that shit uh, when these clueless fucking morons, I, I guess, uh, that, that that's the way a clueless fucking moron cheers up uh, a, a person, a, uh, you know, who's not physically uh, in the truly horrible camp. Uh, from sticking a fucking gun in their head. So anyway, I don't know if Betty Boop was was, was asking me advice on uh, on what my my advice to her uh, would be. You know, obviously, uh, one of the options. Uh, that she uh, has on the table is suicide. Uh, I, I mean, she she's looking ahead, and uh, you know, let's hope to hell that uh, that, that that literally some miracle comes along and she snaps out of this. Uh, but you know, she's not a stupid woman she realizes that her life is fucked and uh, and you know is 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 I uh, I don't know if, if if she's looking for for my permission to uh, you know, to, to take herself out, it, you know, it's not my, that is not my decision. Uh, anybody in the uh, camp of the truly horrible uh, who, uh, you know, makes the choice to, uh, who, who, who makes the choice to, you know, to pull a Lulu, uh, I mean, what can I say? Uh, I, I, I certainly cannot blame them. I, I mean, would do, do I support? Uh, you, you know, is is this fine line? Uh, but she mentioned in her. Uh, in her email, and I'll use the quote. I, I hope Betty Boop won't mind me using this quote. You know, she's a, uh, a she works with dogs and cats on some level, and uh, she made some comment. If if I were an animal, you know, like a domestic pet, like a dog or a cat, like if if I were a a a non-human. I would have been euthanized long ago. Uh, and, you know, why can't the medical 
community show humans the same compassion uh, that we show a, uh, you know, a dog or a cat just to put it out of its misery. And, uh, you know, I understand uh, what she's talking about, and, and, and it's a good question. Uh, this, you know, the, this sanctity of preserving human life at, at all cost. The, that the quantity of life is all that matters, that the quality of life, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into a corona panic rant about, uh, you know, these old, demented, sick people in nursing homes not having any clue, you know, any fucking idea what planet they're on. Uh... Dying of uh, corona panic. Uh, you know, the, this, this whole... This, the, I, I just don't get it. I, I fundamentally do not get people's insistence on preserving the life of someone who wants to die. If, if, if Betty Boop... She, she's clearly a, an intelligent young woman. Uh, you know, I do think she needs to, you know, let, let the goddamn medical profession take its best shot, as it were. But, uh, you, you know, six months from now, uh, if, 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 ob if it's obvious that nothing is going to change in her life. Uh, and, and, uh, you know, she makes the decision as an informed, consenting adult that she would be better off dead than alive, then I, I think it's bullshit about uh, how much trouble she would have finding a medical professional to help her. I mean, she unbelievably, she, she found someone to sterilize her. Uh, I'm almost more amazed that someone uh, that age that particularly a childless female can can find a doctor to do that. So, uh, d darling, if you're listening to this, uh, I mean, I mean, what what else can I say? It's, uh, you know, it's just like when my mother. You know, when she was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer, you know, asking me whether she should, uh, you know, just enjoy it while she still can, and then uh, take the morphine and 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 just check on out, which of course is what I wanted her to do, or to go through that goddamn. Uh, chemo and radiation and all that shit, you know, I, I just told her, I, you know, I, I, I said, Mom, uh, I said, this is not my decision that I will support you on whatever decision you make about your health. Uh, th th this is your call and all I can do is support whatever decision you make. And, and of course, I was absolutely horrified that she made the uh, horrendous uh, blunder in judgment to uh, go through, uh, you know, all that cancer treatment bullshit and just turn herself into a fucking bedridden vegetable 
uh, for the last eight months of her life. Uh, you know, I, I watched her go from the basically miserable to the truly horrible in, in, in one day. One fucking day. Uh, and I, I, I watched my mother uh, hit the uh, truly horrible camp for eight fucking months of uh, her miserable life. You know, if, if, if uh, anyway, we've all heard, <clears throat> heard about that. Uh, but anyway, I, I mean, I, I don't know what else. When, when somebody, you, you know, whether it be an acquaintance, a close friend, a family member uh, gets hit with this uh, with this awful fucking news uh, and they you know they they tell you about what's going on in their life and fishing around for advice I don't know what other advice to say except, you know, I feel, I feel awful, I'm sorry to hear all this, uh, and, and I, all I can do is promise you that I will support whatever decision you make, and uh, I, I, I don't know what else to say, and uh, Anyway, I am sorry that Betty Boop could not be sitting here on this dock watching this eerie moon ride. It looks like we have two moons rising. Bad moon rising. Is that a bad moon rising over the end times? Anyway, Betty Boop, if you're listening to this uh, and uh, you want to talk, you always know where to find me. Uh, anyway, I wish I could think of something else to say. So let's all send our, uh, our little bubbles of green energy to our Doomer Chick Tribes member, Betty Boop. Oh, Jesus, life. Anyway. I'm going to uh, take my sciatica and my herniated shoulder hobble back up to the bar, to the margarita bar and pour a Another drink and uh, figure out what I'm doing with my own basically miserable existence for the next few months. <sighs> Bye, guys.